Welcome back to the American Dream, and thank you so much for sticking around with us as we dive into your local market. My next guest is no stranger to this show, Nareet Koum. She has the number one REMAX team in Maryland with REMAX Elite Services. Nareet, always a pleasure to have you on the show. Hi, Jen. Great to see you again. Great to see you, as always. So, Nareet, first I want to start out a little bit more general. Give me a quick update on the market. How's it going right now? How are things looking for you? <laughs> well, we're in the middle of the strong, strong spring market. So this year we have really low inventory. We said it last year, but this year again, we have been lower inventory than last year. We're at 22% down compared to last year. Um, we have um, uh, inventory supply of less than two months, which is not a lot at all. Um, everything gets multiple offers. Uh, buyers are scrambling, trying to find listings, uh, very, very hard for them, either millennials or uh, baby boomers, they're all fighting for trying to find homes. It's really tough right now for buyers. Uh, great listings come and go really, really quickly, so you've got to be on your toes. And I see that homes are, are sold at 98.8% of list price. That's got to make it really difficult for people that are out there looking. How do you help your clients achieve these properties that they're looking for, that there might be multiple offers on? Yeah, that it's, that's really the tough part of it. So first, you know, we're, I, I tell my buyers, we're in this together. I'm going to fight with you. We're going to look for listings together. So I need them to be available. As soon as a listing comes up on the market, the second it hits the market, I will call them, let them know, I'll make my schedule available, we'll jump in the car and go and take a look at it. Because really good listings do not last. Before you even realize, they're gone. So that's number one. Um, the other thing is, I, I'm very successful, thank God, in um, finding listings before they hit the market. So we top agents have some kind of a top agent network where we notify each other. I can send an email to my other agents, colleagues, and tell them, hey, I've got a buyer qualified looking for this, this, that. I can, do you have anything coming on the market? And I let them know, yes, um, this is coming on the market. Let's come and see it. Um, I source neighborhoods. I send out uh, emails, letters to communities. I walk the communities. I go to community meetings. I try to find listings before they come on the market. That's really important at this time when we have no listings. Now, do you tailor your offers to each specific situation? I mean, again, back to this multiple offer situation, you are known for achieving and winning these contracts and beating out so many other agents. Do you work with each particular buyer and make it unique for each and every situation? Yes, you have to, really, because when you negotiate, there's several things you really need to know. First of all, you need to know who is who you're negotiating with. So who is the other agent on the other side and who are the sellers? Because sometimes it's not just the price, it's the whole complete picture. Um, you need to know what motivates the sellers, when they're looking to move, uh, have they bought a house or not, how much they owe on the current house. The more information I know on the other side, the better it is for me to structure the, the offer to meet their requirements. So that's number one. Um, the other thing is I talk to... Um, I talk to my clients and I explain to them, me as a listing agent, when I have so many listings as well, I know that what's important for my sellers is not just to maximize on their asset and get the best price, obviously, but also to get to settlement with minimal headaches. So when you're talking about getting to settlement with minimal headaches is the contingencies that go along with your offer, not just the price. So sometimes I'm not the highest price, but my clients win the contract. And that's because of the contingencies. So you look at uh, having really good lender, very good pre-approval letter. The lender call the other side and tell them how qualified and amazing my clients are. Talking to the emotional of the seller, getting them a letter, pictures of my clients, pictures of the babies, all sorts of things. Um, giving them the timing they're looking for. And most importantly, how we're dealing with home inspections. So sometimes... Um, you don't want to really waive home inspections because you're taking too much risk maybe, but sometimes we can do inspection before we put a contract, and that way we know what we're getting into, so if we waive sure. the inspection, 
it's not that it's not no risk there anymore. Sure, exactly. Um, I mean, so, I, I'm going to stop you there, Nareet, because there are yeah. so many different areas of expertise that you are such a successful agent that you know about, and this is why people looking to buy a home need to use someone such as yourself to do these transactions because there's so many things. And I don't want you to give away all the tricks in your bag, but uh, we really, <laughs> we really appreciate the information that you've given us today, Nareet. Thank you so much for being back on the show. Thank you, Jen. Great to be here again. And with that, we will be back with more of the American Dream.